Francesco Ietz, 1791-1882, was an Italian artist who worked in the artistic movement of Romanticism. He painted breathtaking portraits, beautiful and sensual nudes, and was an engraver whose engravings touched on themes of political satire. Throughout his long life, he created numerous works on mythological and biblical subjects. Similar to the British artist Lawrence Almadadima, he preferred depicting his contemporaries in historical settings. Later on, he favored various allegories, often with a hint of current political events. Francesco was the youngest of his five siblings, and his parents were in great need of means. They sent him to their more affluent relatives, hoping that they could provide for the child and ideally give him some education. It soon became apparent that Francesco had a talent for drawing, and at the age of seven, he began apprenticing with the restorer Francesco Magento. At the age of 15, Francesco was accepted into Italy's most prestigious art institution, the Academy of St. Luke. Funds for education and living in Rome were provided by Count Chicanara. It was customary among the aristocracy to assist talented artists, hoping that they would repay with high-quality paintings that could be kept in their collections or sold profitably. Chicanara also helped him with lucrative commissions, such as a commission for fresco painting in the Vatican. In 1822, Francesco settled in Milan, drawn to the large and bustling city with its rich trading traditions and numerous aristocrats willing to pay well for his portraits. His painting style underwent some changes. Previously, influenced by the prominent French artist Dominique Angra, he painted in the style of neoclassicism, which was more rigid and based on the traditions of ancient Rome and Greece. However, his works began to display more noticeable romantic motifs. The subjects of his portraits, whether aristocrats or prominent musicians like composer Gioacchino Rossini, were typically dressed in strict black attire with minimal adornments. The primary focus was on the face and character of the individual, rather than external attributes. Francesco painted numerous such portraits, as his clients willingly posed for him. Francesco Ietz became particularly renowned for his paintings featuring semi-nude and nude beauties, usually depicted with a fig leaf, symbolizing Eastern exoticism, such as odalisks and provocative scenes from the harem. This was necessary to maintain decorum, as contemporary European ladies were not to be portrayed in an unseemly manner, whereas odalisks from the harem could be depicted without restrictions. Even Christian saints, including Mary Magdalene, in Francesco's works, often resembled sensual and life-loving women rather than devout followers of Jesus Christ, living solely with thoughts of God. In 1859, he painted his most famous work, The Kiss. Few depicted such a display of love as candidly. This kiss was not chaste and modest, but passionate and sensual. The young man even holds the back of the girl's head, clearly indicating that they are unconcerned about everything else, including contrived social conventions. Moreover, this painting became a symbol of the struggle for the unification of Italy. At the Congress of Vienna in 1815, following Napoleon's defeat, there were plans to extensively redraw the map of Europe. Italy was supposed to consist of numerous small principalities dependent on larger European states, thus practically remaining in a state of feudal fragmentation. Naturally, the Italians were not pleased with this. The young man in the painting represents a soldier ready to fight for the unification of Italy. He kisses his beloved before departing to his military unit and participating in the battles. The horrors of war are still ahead, but for now, he simply enjoys the last moments of closeness with his beloved.